Hi there, my name is Greg Ainsley Malik, and I'd like to take you on a really brief tour through Splunk's machine learning toolkit. Originally developed for what Gartner termed citizen data scientists, the machine learning toolkit presents a whole host of features for customers, um, mostly focused around assistance and experiments to help users who aren't familiar with data science train and test machine learning models and deploy them into production. And most of these assistants present as kind of guided interfaces where you can input some SPL, something that our users are very familiar with, select some algorithms, do some pre-processing, things that our users are less familiar with, and then view a set of dashboards, a set of reports that tell them about their model's performance. However, what we see from the telemetry is that these experiments are generally used as uh, almost like pseudo training to help users familiarize themselves with MLTK. But of the monthly active users, actually more than 95% of them run MLTK searches straight from the search bar. So here you can see an example of that where we're using the fit command that ships with MLTK to apply an anomaly detection search. And you can see that this is actually just two lines of SPL. So for our NOC and SOC personas, those who are very familiar to us at Splunk, this is quite a simple thing to do. Now, while the search bar and the experiments can help our users develop and deploy simple techniques like this for finding anomalies or, or making predictions, what we're starting to see is a trend towards use case focused workflows. Here we have one for ITSI, where more complex techniques can be run against data without having to see the details of the ML that's being applied at all. So here we have a list of episodes, incidents in ITSI, where on clicking on an incident, some a technique called causal inference gets run in the background to determine the root cause of that incident. And you can see here a graph structure that has mapped out those root cause relationships. And up here you can see a table where for the service that was impacted by the incident, here are all the KPIs that have affected it. And on clicking in this, we can quickly drill down and see what the raw data looked like. And I could draw the conclusion that perhaps it was disk space used that was the reason behind this incident in this case.